Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. It has been a little while. It's been almost two months. Two months? Yeah, I looked in Steam, and the last time I logged into this game was June 14th, which is quite some time ago. So a lot has happened since then, a lot in my particular life, and... Well, not so much here. We still have this ugly thing on the on the arms here. And then we've got a Katagiri Katsumoto. Is that how that goes? Open inventory. Let's take a look there. It's not inventory. I need the repair order. There we go. Yes, Katagiri Katsumoto. And then over here, let's go. What's this thing called? It's the Maluk. And we've got two different items we've got to work on here and so I said last time at the end of what was it episode 11 last time we would be working on this guy and so we'll work through that again what we're aiming for is roughly 10-15 minutes here for this particular episode we'll see if we can get through the Maluk so let's take a look at our repair order again we've got engine power has failed we've got air filter cylinder fuel pump ignition distributor spark plug valve push rod so a lot of stuff to take care of there and then also the timing part so since we're going to be in the engine we will take care of both of these items at the same time all right so let's get started let's go around to the back this is an air-cooled engine so we can open the hood we can look at the engine and we've got to replace not the wires but you know we've got a decent amount here Hopefully I can remember all of this, but you might see me coming into the order or the repair order here and there. The air filter, cylinder, fuel pump, ignition distributor. Okay. So let's just take a look. Engine head cover. I mean, this looks pretty bad. All of it looks pretty bad, but we'll see if we can get into the air filter. So we're, we need to go here. We're in disassemble mode, so we're going to remove that okay is there anything else holding the air filter cover on yes okay anything more okay so there are three clips that's good we've now got three clips in our inventory we should be able to remove the air filter cover and yes the air filter needs to be removed let's take a look at our inventory we'll go here and sure enough three percent we definitely need a new air filter so we will be replacing that so the next order of business, let's look down here. This looks pretty bad. Fuel pump, is that on the order? Fuel pump, yes, most definitely. Let's see how bad that is. What is holding it? Nothing is holding it. We've got a couple of bolts here. Let's see if we can move the camera down and be a little more believable here. Yep, there we go. There's that fast unbolting like before. So since we were last together, let's see. We've gotten a couple of cats here at my house. One of the cats has run away and has come back so you know it's not too bad so you didn't even know i had cats and one's already run away and come back which is pretty cool that uh that we were able to recover uh the one they're they're both uh really cute we got them as kittens from a couple or a family at church who just recently had a batch of kittens or well they didn't but their cat did and and yeah so they needed to get rid of some so we picked up a couple my kids are quite quite enamored with them Let's see, we need to get to the cylinder. We got the fuel pump off already. Ignition distributor, spark plug, valve push rod. So we need to get into the core of the engine. And that means we're probably going to need to get into the timing stuff too. So let's get the oil filter off. We're just going to take this whole thing apart and hopefully we can put it all back together correctly. Crankshaft pulley, we can get the serpentine belt off now. We'll get the crankshaft pulley as well. And then that leaves us with the timing cover. And so we'll remove these bolts. And going a lot faster, we're almost at, let's see, 1967 on the experience, which means we're close to getting another upgrade point. Now let's see, we need a new timing chain, cam gear, small cam gear. So we're about to remove those. Yeah, cam gear, you see how bad that is? Yeah, we definitely need to replace that. So pull those bolts. There's the main cam gear. Timing chain also needs to come off. Let's take a look at our inventory again so we can see. Uh, timing chain, 16%. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Cam gear, 1%. Yeah, that's about to give out. 
So they definitely need a new one. Small cam gear is right there. We can now get that because the timing chain is off. And now to get into, see that's the fan. And this is the engine block. We can't get to the engine block quite yet because we've got thermostat cover. And how about the ignition? So the ignition coil. So we do need to remove the ignition wires. So let's do that. And we'll see about the ignition coil that needs to come off. Pull those bolts. And let's take a look. Inventory. No, the ignition coil is fine. What was it? What, what was it here? Ignition distributor. Okay, and the spark plug. So I removed that for nothing. Well, maybe we need to get it into... Where's my mouse? There we go. There's the cap. So we need to remove... What else? What else is holding that back? Okay, so that won't let me. Let's get the cap. Oh, I see. The rotor. So we got to get that off. And now we can get the ignition distributor away from the engine. And then the spark plug is probably going to be down in the engine block. So let's remove the thermostat cover. So this is a pretty involved job. We're deep in the heart of this engine. Not quite a song for that. It's deep in the heart of Texas, but no song. Deep in the heart of the engine. Valve rod push cover. Still the engine block is holding a cylinder is going to be pretty bad. Yeah, we got to figure out which cylinder. So we pulled the air filter off. We got the cylinder, got the fuel pump off. Ignition distributor, that's gone. Spark plug and valve push rods. So we've got push rod covers. We don't know which push rod. Can we go into examine mode maybe? Okay, so that cylinder needs help. Okay. And and what we can do, let's go back to disassemble mode. Who's holding that in? Let's see. Yeah, so we've got a lot to remove just to get to that point. Yeah, so this might be a rather involved job, or it is a rather involved job, but we might be here for a little bit of time. We may not finish this this episode, which would be a pain. Let's get the muffler cover away. Oh, I hope I remember how to put everything back. Oh, lots of bolts. Lots of bolts. Any, any more? Okay, so there we go. And we're still moving. Okay, so... Yeah, wow, we got to get the carburetor away. And that would make sense since we are messing with the cylinder. No, okay, so fan cover's got to come. So we're, we're taking apart the whole engine. So this would be a rather expensive repair job. And who knows, maybe it's worth it for this car. Maybe it's got sentimental value for the owner, but I don't know if I would want to. A lot of effort for this. Take a lot of time. And now we can remove the front fan cover. A few bolts here. What, what, five? Okay. We'll get this guy here. And then we're still being held in by what? Okay, so that fan cover has to go as well. Okay. What's this? Fuel filter? That wasn't on the list. Exhaust manifold. Probably should pull that too. Not quite. What else do we need? Oh, we've got that spark plug and that spark plug. No, not quite. We've still got something up here. Oh, no, over here. What's this? Exhaust manifold. Another one. Okay, so it's a... Yeah, I guess that would make sense. You've got two cylinders there, so you've got two exhaust manifolds you've got to remove. So we'll pull the bolts off of the valve cover. All right, can we get that cylinder now? No. Okay, piston with Conrod. Oh boy. We have to get the oil pan away. So let's take this in all the way up. Let's. Okay, we'll make the car lift go up and we'll get away from that because it is rather noisy. So let's go back under here and we shall remove the oil pan. 
So they essentially get an oil change while they're at it, but I'm not actually doing the oil change. It's just going to fall all on me at that point. And now, uh, hmm, <laughs> how about can we get to the, let's see, we'll, we'll drop the, the lift back down and we'll see if we can get into the cylinder at this point. Okay, yeah, we can get the piston now and we can get the cylinder. Let's take a look at how bad that cylinder is. Inventory. Where is it? It's the last thing. Oh, 19%. Not too bad, but it's not the greatest either. So let's take a look at our repair order and see what we've got. We've got the air filter. we got the cylinder. Fuel pump. Fuel pump? Fuel pump. I can't remember if we've gotten that one. Let's take a look at our inventory. Fuel pump. Is that in here? Yes. Okay. Fuel pump. Yeah. So we had to take that off. Uh, next up is a valve push rod. I'm not sure which one is actually in need of... Okay, so I guess it's the one there in red. So let's go back to disassemble mode. We'll see if we can remove that. And let's take a look. Valve push rod, 23%. So, again, back to the repair order. I have a hard time with this. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff on this list. So we are going to... You're just going to have to bear with me as I go back and forth with it. So we got the valve push rod, just pulled that. Spark plug is out, ignition distributor is out, fuel pump, cylinder, air filter, all good. And we've got all of these as well. So I think we've got our parts list. So what we're going to do is go over to our, what our, our computer here, and we are going to order from the Maluk part shop. We need an air filter. Yep. And then we need, uh, let's go with engine, just to limit what we've got here. I know we need a new cylinder, $200 there. Uh, let's see, fuel pump, ignition distributor, we definitely need that. We need, uh, let's see, small cam gear. We need a cam gear too, did I pass that already? Yeah. And then what else? We need a timing chain and a valve push rod. Did I happen to get everything? Let's take a look at our inventory again. Uh, we got an air filter. Good, good. So cylinder, valve push rod, good. Air filter, good. Spark plug. We need a spark plug. Yep, one, one spark plug. Got the ignition distributor. Yep. And then... Yeah, got the cam gear, small cam gear, timing chain. Good, good. Fuel pump. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Fuel pump is right there. Okay, so spark plug. And let's grab that. All right, so we've got our marching orders. We've got all the parts ready. And we are going to put this car back together in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.